They are one of the largest and arguably the most important semiconductor companies in the world. Yet only a few people in the world know their name. The company in question is not Qualcomm, Intel, or AMD, but rather ASML. The 30th largest publicly traded corporation in the world now has a market value of slightly under $300 billion. They presently have a market cap that is more than twice as large as AMD to put that into context. But the majority of people have never even heard of ASML. So who are they? And what exactly do they do? The groundbreaking machine that the entire world has grown to rely on is being assembled at the heart of this large facility in the Netherlands over the course of several months. These EUV lithography machines are the most expensive stage in producing every high-tech microchip that fuels the modern digital age, including data centers, cars, and every iPhone. They are the size of a city bus and operate with atomic level precision. They are the sole supplier of this vital technology on the planet. These devices are the only ones that can print tiny patterns on these chips. They are only produced by Advanced Semiconductor Materials Lithography, or ASML and can cost up to $200 million. The production of EUV lithography machines, the most sophisticated sort of lithography equipment required to create every single modern processor chip we use today, is currently monopolized by ASML. And this business is among the most remarkable ones in the entire planet. Each of the machines they create is among the most intricate things ever created. The demand for ASML has never been greater as a result of a chip shortage that has resulted in back orders for everything from Teslas to PS5s. While ASML's three primary clients, chip makers TSMC, Intel, and Samsung, compete to be first in line for its next groundbreaking technology, the cost of this new machine, which is expected to push the limits of known physics, is more than $300 million. Over the past few years, ASML has experienced tremendous success thanks to its vital role in the chip-making industry. As a result, it is now even more valuable than Intel, one of the largest chip makers it supplies. Peter Wenink joined ASML in 1999, just 15 years after its modest origins, and has been its CEO since 2013. In Eindhoven, the Netherlands, it began as a division of the large Dutch electronics company Philips doing research out of a leaky shed next to a Philips office building. They had no money and were in serious financial trouble. And because Philips had such significant issues, no one paid attention to that tiny division there that was trying to do something weird, so it went unnoticed. However, the business was successful in introducing a unique machine in its first year that employed the lithography technique, which uses precise light beams to print small designs on silicon to create microchips. The original lithography instrument had a projector-like appearance. An optical system will take this image and project it onto the wafer once it's taken from a reticle, which is basically where the image that you want to project is held. The invention of semiconductor lithography took place in a US military laboratory, and up until the 1980s, New England-based American companies dominated the industry. None of the US companies were prepared to take the plunge on what would be a costly and dangerous project. When the industry was getting set to go into the early stages of EUV development, but ASML was. By 1988, ASML had five US offices with 84 people each, as well as a new office in the Netherlands that would later become its Veldhoven headquarters. In 1995, ASML started making money thanks to a groundbreaking machine and went public on the Amsterdam and New York stock exchanges. By the 2000s, ASML was buying up tech firms in California, including Silicon Valley Group. A quarter of ASML's shares were made available to its top three clients in 2012, Intel, Samsung, and TSMC. The only way they could speed up the research and development for EUV was to include their biggest clients. Making them shareholders is one way to make your promise a reality. Although ASML is a Dutch company, it depends largely on American businesses for its sales at the moment, as well as one Taiwanese client. Nearly 40% of ASML sales in 2017 came from TSMC. In 2019, because to ASML, the Taiwanese chipmaker has maintained its lead over the competition by being the first to deliver high production chips made using EUV. And it has been TSMC's customers that have benefited the most, like AMD, NVIDIA, and others. Hinges on ASML. Let's take a look at how EUV lithography revolutionized chip making. When you look at the engineering that goes into creating an EUV lithography machine, 
It's almost like a Nobel Prize achievement. Silicone, a plentiful element present in rocks and sand, is used to make chips. It is cleaned, melted, and then cut into circular wafers on which chips are assembled in a grid pattern. The number of tiny layers that make up each wafer, which together comprise billions of transistors, determines the functionality of the chips. Lithography is used to print these layers. Light beams that are incredibly precise are sent through a chip design mask. The photoresist chemicals deposited on the wafer surface cause light, when it strikes them, to print incredibly high quantities of tiny designs on each layer. The tiniest transistors are 10,000 times more delicate than human hair. Because the designs are now so tiny, ASML was forced to create brand new printing techniques that push the boundaries of current physics. In a first for lithography, ASML developed a method to produce large amounts of extreme ultraviolet light with a wavelength so short that it is not only invisible to the human eye, but also absorbed by all natural substances, including air. This required customer investments and a group of scientists. They are able to take incredible feats of engineering and physics and repeat them on a large scale and at a low enough cost that these machines can be utilized in chip factories to produce dozens and millions of chips for the businesses that purchase them. A finished EUV machine is really made up of seven individual modules, each of which is constructed at one of ASML's six production facilities, which are among its 60 locations worldwide. Modules are then delivered to Veldhoven for testing and reassembled there. In order to ship it, it must be disassembled once more, which requires 20 trucks and three fully loaded 747s. ASML sold 42 EUV units in 2021, bringing its overall shipping total to slightly over 140. Only five clients can afford to purchase EUV systems, with each unit costing up to $200 million. These clients include Micron, SK Hynix, Samsung, Intel, and TSMC, with the last three accounting for almost 84% of ASML sales. It has undoubtedly driven out many competitors from that market. Therefore, Global Foundries announced that they would not pursue a 7 nanometer chip at least five years ago. The few large clients it does have are frantically increasing the capacity to try and alleviate the worldwide chip shortage, which is also affecting ASML. The issue is whether ASML can meet the demand. It's feasible that the increase will exceed even their goals. However, they are undoubtedly getting ready to increase production, which is good news if you're concerned about a chip shortage. Since the world requires more chips, Manufacturers are aware that they must produce more machines, whose average selling prices will continue to rise as long as they can reduce the cost per transistor, which they have successfully done for the past 38 years and will continue to do for the foreseeable future. According to experts, it could take decades for any other company to catch up because of ASML's exclusive technology, as well as the fact that it has developed intricate, frequently exclusive business relationships with almost 800 suppliers. By acquiring some of its suppliers, such as Berliner Glass, in 2020, ASML has further protected itself from supply chain threats. Then there's the issue of whether there will be a sufficient market for cutting-edge chips to support high NA, ASML's next-generation EUV machine in its ongoing development. But even without the bigger, better equipment, ASML continues to be relied upon by the entire world, despite any obstacles.